why is data such a big keyword? Because, you know, uh, uh, I, and I did a podcast on that. I mean, machine learning and all these things, they've been around since the 60s. Right. This is the new. Right. So the data is capturing everyone's mind now as opposed to investments or the stock market or... Yeah, so I think the reason behind that is looking at, um, so data science is kind of a key part of this, right? Data science is realistically a bunch of computer scientists who used to use if this, then that. That was how they made models. It was just if statements. There's no statistics involved, just if statements. And like you're saying, right, neural networks has been around since I think like the 30s and 40s, and then there was a big boom in the 80s, and then it kind of died out again, and now 2010 and on, we had this, another big boom. But a lot of those advancements aren't in the theory behind it. It's just all this computational power. So the technology is advancing to the point where everybody's grasping data and trying to find like a new solution, something cool and exciting. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the big data side's coming in. Even in banks now, right? We have processing that we do. We have our standard models. And now we're all running out there saying, hey, what can we do with data science? And now we have these servers like Amazon Web Services, for example. Can we pull in more data and run that? And then on the trading side too, so throwing like two sigmas and Citadel and all them out there, a lot of the successful firms now, whether it be ethical or not, are running out and grabbing different sets of data that we've never used for trading in the past. So I've seen the example, uh, somebody went out and paid for a bunch of data from a satellite. And the satellite's recording um, from like Skyview, this warehouse to see how many trucks are coming out. And then based on the amount of trucks that come out of this warehouse, you can pinpoint what the sales is going to look like, which is then going to give you an in- indication of what the you know, earnings are going to look like for the quarter. And you can get that information before it hits the stock market. So again, is that ethical? I don't, I don't really know. That is exactly <laughs> what I've been telling my students because historically when we used to do financial analysis is get the cash flow, get the balance sheet, and get um, the, the income statement. But now... I know that there was a firm in China, uh, an AI firm, and what they did to do um, uh, credit, or at least uh, uh, risk analysis, they would find out how often you kept your cell phone charged, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Being a responsible person, and, they've, and, they, and they saw a, a correlation between that and you being a good customer, a good paying customer for your credit card, and they said they're using that. You, this, this is a great example uh that that you're using now yeah we have so basically we have more data and the way we used to do things especially in financial analysis is going to change and you can't possibly do this in excel you have to yeah. you know you become a data engineer you got to start working with big data i think so basically what you're saying is we have all this advent of new data coming in and and we always had the ability to do it it's just that we didn't have the data but now it's you know through your iphone through amazon and all these things mm-hmm. Doing purchases online, so that, I guess that's where all the programs have that in there. You know, data analytics—that's a key word. But I guess you're right. Data scientists, probably, or data engineer.